What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Fat Bass TV. Today we're going to go catch some fish with a Nico rig. I know I don't show this very often. I fish with it quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to go out here and catch some fish and afterwards we're going to talk about how I rig it and you might be surprised what I use and how I use it. Stay tuned. There he is, first fish. There we go. Look at that, first fish on that little Nico rig. Look at that little thing. All right, so this right here is very important. Once you catch a fish, you it kind of tears the worm a little bit. What you want to do is you just want to take your hook out and just find a new spot to hook it. So what's going to happen if you don't, the next fish you catch, you may or may not lose your worm. This way, you know you have your worm on. There you go. Just like that. And just re-rig. Just re All you got to do is just take it out and stick it in somewhere else. I found by leaving it in the same hole or, or where you just caught that fish, you, the next cast or the next fish, you're going to lose your worm and your weight. There he is. Mm. I'm sorry, buddy. This one's deep. I hope I can save him. Almost. There we go. Saved it. Look at that. Save that fish. He ain't hurt. There he goes. Swimming off. Just by cutting the line and going through the gill to get the fish out, save that fish's life. Man, he swallowed that thing fast. I mean, I just felt the bite and set the hook, and he had already swallowed the whole hook. Now, when I'm popping this thing, I'm not moving it very far. I'm just, you know, a couple inches at a time. That's why this uh six three to one gear ratio reel that i'm using this it's perfect you can use a high speed gear ratio but you don't have to because you're only moving this bait you know a few inches per pop there's one there he is Ooh. Look at there. There's another one. Now I'm on, I took the hook out and I'm going to re, reposition the hook. One of the good things about this worm with this Elastec in it is the, the stretchier it gets, the floppier it gets, the better this worm is. Because what it's doing is, is once you get all the salt out of it, it's sitting on the bottom like this. And that's all it's doing is it's just sitting there and this tail's just wiggling. And then when you hop it, and then it stops. So once this worm gets worn out, don't throw it away. Keep using it. Just reposition the hook. Because the, the floppier it gets, the better it is. The more action it has in the water. There it is. There he is. There's another one. There's another one. Nico rig. All 
Let's see if our worm's still good. Still got our weight. Still got our worm in one piece. Just pull that line through and reposition the hook. That's all you gotta do. And you can keep using the same worm. Just try not to hook yourself pulling it through. Let's find a hole that we ain't used yet. There we go, right there. Look at that. There's a good one. Juicy one right there. There we go. Make sure our weight's still in there good. Yep, there it is. All right. Let's catch another one. There's one right there. There he is. That's probably going to end up being the last one. All right. There he is. There he goes. There we go. There's one right there. Nico Rig. There's another one. Another one on the Nico Rig. Go. Right. So we made it home from a pretty daggum day of fishing. Pretty daggum good day of fishing. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about exactly what I was doing. But before we do that, I want to say that uh, this technique that I was using, a lot of people use it, but this one specifically, uh, there's a Ben Milliken with uh, Milliken Fishing. He made an underwater video about this. Now, I've been using this technique for a while. I just haven't really said anything or showed it in any videos because can't give away all my secrets but being that now the cat's out of the bag I'm going to link his underwater video probably right there and if it's not right there it'll be down in the description but he did a really really good underwater video of the same exact technique same one that I've been using same you know weight same worm everything but I want to talk a little bit about it so let's talk about the rod now this is just a rod I had laying around it's it's just a seven foot medium heavy. It's not a heavy sack fishing. I need to get with Junior on getting one of these seven foot uh, medium action or medium power fast action, excuse me. I need to get with him on getting one of these. It's just, I've been busy, he's been busy. It's just one of those things. So I was fishing it on a, this is just a six three to one gear ratio dial reel. I like the six three to one gear ratio simply because you're only moving this worm a couple of inches at a time. So you really, you can use a high speed gear ratio reel, but I find myself, and this is just me personally, I find that if I use a, a higher speed gear ratio reel, I tend to fish it a little faster than I should instead of letting it, you know, kind of sit on the bottom. Now, the, the worms that I was using are these, it's the Z-Man Zinker Z's. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you've seen me use these. I've tried them just about any way you can try them. I've tried them on a shaky head, wacky rig. These things, I'm just going to put it out there, they suck. Except for Nico rigging. These things are the bomb when it comes to Nico rigging. They really are. Everything else they suck at. They, it's just like a turd floating in the water. So I'm using these. I was using the, uh, what is this, black and blue flake. Uh, I got one tied on right here. Steel. Now, the weights that I was using, they are these, uh, it's the 1 16th ounce, and I just use the Bass Pro brand because that's the only place around here that carries them. But it's the Bass Pro Tungsten Nail Weights. And they have these little ridges on them. I know you can see it. They have those little ridges to help keep the weight inside the worm. Now, on these particular worms, it doesn't stay in there. You need to use super glue, or after a couple of fish, this weight's going to fall out. 
So super glue is is key to keeping this weight, this weight here. See this one? I got super glue on it, and it's already it's already starting to back out a little bit. If it'll focus on it, if you can see that, it's already starting to come out a little bit. But it will hold it in there a lot longer, and you can catch multiple multiple fish on this. So I'm gonna unhook it real quick and show you exactly exactly what you need to do. So when you take these out of the package, they come, they're full of salt. I mean, full of salt, and that's what helps make it sink. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this worm and you wanna stretch, stretch it out. It's got that elastic, it's not gonna break. This one don't even have any salt in it anymore. You wanna just stretch it out and get every bit of that salt out that you can. Just keep stretching and, until you get most of it out. You'll, you'll have it all over your hands and everywhere else, and you'll know when it's pretty much out. This, uh, this worm will kind of start turning whitish. But once it, once it gets in the water, it, the water will wash all that you know, white salt residue off. And then it'll, then it'll be limp like this. I'll show you one that, that, has, that still has salt in it so you can see by comparison. All right, so see how this one kind of, it kind of stays almost straight. And this one, see how it dangles? This is what you want right here. You want all that salt gone so it'll just sit there and dangle. Now with that salt gone, it's going to keep it from sinking. It's going to help it float. So as it's sitting on the bottom, this is the bottom here. As it's sitting on the bottom, it's just sitting there like this and this tail is just dangling in the water. It, it, this, this weight keeps the head down on the bottom and this tail floats up. And it sits there and as you hop it, it just, it just hops across the bottom. This thing is dynamite. I know, you know, about four or five months ago, I made a video, you know, showing that I bought some of these and some of you commented on Nico rig videos. I've been testing this out to actually see what works. I've tried a bunch of different stuff. This by far is the best lure that I've found. It is. So, and all I do to rig it is once you get your once you get your weight in the head, just come up, you know, a couple of inches. Let's see. Just come up a couple of inches. I like to get about right there. And just stick your hook in and come out the other side just like you would anything else. Just like that. Come out. And it's gonna it's gonna look like that right there. If it'll focus. It won't focus. There you go, just like that. So you want to keep you want to keep your hook in line with the head. There you go, just like that. This is key because as you're as you're pulling this worm with your with your line, it's it's sitting up like like so as you're as you're pulling it and it's just bouncing. Very very good way to catch fish. When when you have a tough day of fishing, they don't want to bite anything else. I highly encourage you guys to try this Nico rig with these uh, with these Zinker Z's and and uh, you don't have to buy the tungsten weights. I just do because that's pretty much all Bass Pro carries around here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope so. Um, I highly encourage you going and checking out Millican Fishing's uh, channel, his underwater video of this. I was gonna do one, but I decided he's already done one. I'll just link you guys to his channel so you can watch his. He did a pretty good job. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you've used this before. And if you use a different kind of worm, let me know what works. I might not have tried it yet. So uh, appreciate it, guys. See you tomorrow. Boom. Oh, yeah. Before we do that, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. There's some videos on this side over here right there. Hit those if you haven't seen them. Subscribe. See you tomorrow.